In this video, I want to talk about the difference between phase and group velocities for a wave packet. So consider our quantum wave packet, or honestly, any other wave packet looks something like this. Uh, let's consider this omega factor up here um, to be general, and we'll call that the dispersion, and where omega is a function of k. Uh, for quantum particles, we had omega is h bar k squared over 2m, but more generally, it will be a function of k, and let's just leave it that way for now. So our function, capital Psi, as a function of x, will generally look something like this. It'll be semi-localized with some envelope surrounding it. Um, and so we want to make a distinction between the envelope and in particular, we'll say that the envelope itself moves at what we call the group velocity. We'll label that V group. And then also a difference between the ripples that make up the envelope. Uh, and we're going to say that the ripples themselves move at what we call the phase velocity, V phase. And these need not be the same thing. So in particular, uh, here's animation where we have a group velocity and a phase velocity which are different than each other. This happens with water waves, and it will happen with quantum waves as well. Um, shout out to uh, the physics department at UPenn at this address. OK, so how do we see this difference between a group velocity and a phase velocity? Um, so we're going to consider a heuristic derivation of this. Uh, the heuristic derivation is first we're going to assume that phi of k in our wave packet is reasonably well peaked around some non-zero k value for now, just k equals k naught. So I have phi of k peaked around k naught. The details aren't super important. Um, the reason I'm peaking it around k naught is what I want to do is Taylor expand omega as a function of k around k naught. So I'll write omega of k as omega at k naught plus the first derivative omega, evaluate at k naught, times k minus k naught, plus dot dot dot. We're not going to need the dot dot dot, so we're just going to write this as omega naught, plus omega naught prime, k twiddle, plus dot dot dot. Where this k twiddle, or excuse me, the omega naught prime is itself just a constant, and we made a new variable, k twiddle, which is k minus k naught. And that's for convenience. It'll be useful later. OK, so our total wave function, capital Psi, as a function of x and t, is then uh, equal to the integral from negative infinity to infinity. And now let's make an approximation um, near uh, k equal to k naught for omega. So we have e to the i kx, e to the minus i omega naught t, e to the minus i omega naught prime k twiddle. And that's integrated over k. Uh, so there's a k here, and so we're going to write that k as k twiddle plus k naught. There's another k there we're going to do that with, and we're going to do dk is dk twiddle, because k naught's just a constant. So let's change our variables all into k twiddle notation, so we have 1 over square root of 2 pi. The integral is still from negative infinity to infinity, phi of k twiddle plus k naught, e to the i k naught x, e to the i k twiddle x, e to the i minus i omega naught t, e to the minus i omega naught prime k twiddle t. And that's integrated over dk twiddle. OK, so some of these are constants, and we can pull them out of the integral, things that don't depend on k twiddle. So we're going to pull this out. We're going to pull this out. Uh, and so our expression is going to be looking something like this. I have a factor out front, e to the i k naught x minus omega naught over k naught t times the integral of phi of k naught plus k twiddle e to the i k twiddle x minus i excuse me x minus omega naught prime t integrated over k twiddle and so this is capital psi approximately right so we're making an approximation near k equal to k naught this term out front is just a function of x minus omega naught over k naught t. Uh, and so we would interpret this as the ripples making up our wave packet. And these ripples travel at a speed of the phase velocity, which is just omega naught over k naught. 
This term, in contrast, uh, is a function of x minus omega naught prime t. And we interpret this as the envelope of the wave packet. And this propagates and moves with a speed of the group velocity, v group. And that is then omega naught prime, which writing that out is d omega dk evaluated at k equal to k naught. So this is a difference between then the ripples and the group velocity and where we get the group velocity. Uh, remember, for quantum particles, we have a specific dispersion relation. We have omega as a function of k is h bar k squared over 2m. So that tells us that the phase velocity for quantum particles is 1 half h bar k over m. And the group velocity for quantum particles is h bar k over m. So there's a difference of a factor of 1 half. Uh, in particular, we have wave packets in quantum uh, where the envelopes move actually at twice the speed as the ripples. The group velocity is two times larger than the phase 